and like about politics though. Hey everybody, we're back with the author of Say More, Jen Psaki. Let's talk about the, the, the legal cases going on right now, starting with what's going on downtown in uh, New York right now, the uh, unfolding election interference case. It's, it's called a hush money case, election interference case, mm -hmm. falsifying business records case. What's the most important thing for you to be reporting on so the audience can understand what the stakes of the case are? Well, I think the most important thing for people to understand is this is essentially a case where the former president tried to withhold information and successfully withheld it, I should say, from the American public that would have been damaging to his candidacy. He did that through a coordinated effort with the National Enquirer. That's not something you're supposed to do. Um, and that is what the case is about. Doesn't it seem like just what's been revealed so far about them colluding with the National Enquirer to put out false stories about his opponents would be enough to derail any other normal candidate? It feels like it should be. Um, it feels like it should be. Um, I and think that's kind of, that, that seems like that's up there with like worm ate part of my brain. I know, <laughs> that detail. It's like we can't yes. get it out of our brains, mm -hmm. the worms in the brains. Um, Yes, and um, I think that is that bends the mind sometimes that this is an election that is still so close. Um, you know, the other part of this, which is not the legal case of it, but having watched and consumed a lot of information about the trial, you know, Stormy Daniels, she's a former adult film star. Um, there's lots of salaciousness about what she talked about on the stand yes. on Tuesday. But here's a detail that I keep thinking about. She is a woman the former president, the Republican nominee, had sex with who said she blacked out during the experience and her hands were shaking so much she barely knew what to do. There's also a character aspect here. I'm not talking about the legal case, the legal, I won't play a lawyer on TV, there's plenty of good lawyers, but that tells you about the character. That is also something the public can make their own decisions, but I think it's important for people to understand the details of what we're learning about who he is as a person. Again, just a plain old sex scandal would have derailed, you know. Gary Hart, you know, should have this kind of luck. You remember the tan suit with Barack Obama? I, I mean, do remember the tan suit. It almost derailed him. That was a scandal. That, that was, was a scandal. scandal. There are moments. It all puts it into perspective. There's no place for Poplin in the Oval Office. No way. <laughs> We've also heard from Hope Hicks, who yeah. was, um, uh, was she communications director for Trump, or what was she? She was a senior advisor of some sort. I don't know what her title was exactly. Okay. Some version the of that. Maybe the communications director. when he became president in 2016. What was that handoff like? Well, first of all, we were in a little bit of a shell shock place, like most of the country. Get lying, I was <laughs> I mean, about to we say. were all like, oh my God, what's happening? But President Obama said to us, the Bush team, who he had lots of disagreements with, welcomed us with a great deal of grace. They gave us books and briefing books and helped us through the transition. And we were expected to do the same. Because you want the country to you succeed. You want the country to succeed. And there is a history for good reason about the transition of power through different parties. That's what we did. We had all these binders. We were so nerdy and bureaucratic about all the things we wanted to prepare them with. We sat down. Uh, she was probably a little shell-shocked too. I think they were a little shocked they won, to be mm -hmm. fair. But one of the big questions she asked me was, how do you get President Obama to approve every statement? And we said, we don't. I mean, if it's National Pancake Day or National Sweden Day, we love Sweden, but just as an example, mm -hmm. you don't get the president to approve it, you just write the statement. If it's a controversial one, if you wanna get his brain power on it, then you talk to him about it. And she said, Mr. Trump will wanna approve everything. And at the time I thought, wow, that seems hard to do. I'm not sure you're gonna pull that off. I didn't really think it was gonna be the the, the basis of a testimony during a tr criminal trial of the, former, of the president. But what it told me at the time and told me as I was watching on Friday is that if he cares about small details, he cares about the big details. Like how much you're paying your former, or you're reimbursing your former lawyer. There's no way he doesn't care about the big details. Right. Um, so that's the thing that, that's the reason it stuck with me. Right, no, he's signing the check on the Resolute yes. Desk. <laughs> right. Well, exactly. Yeah. Yes, really, exactly. classes the place up. That's it. Does class. <laughs> think about all the things that have happened in that Oval Office. This sure. is something I've thought about too. I mean, George Bush gave a speech to the country on the night of 9/11. You can hate George Bush or not or whatever. That was a significant moment. Mm -hmm. There were moments of every president in that room. Right. Memo line, right. sex with check. porn star. Right. <laughs> Give me the check. Anyone have a pen and a diet coke? Right. Exactly. Um, okay, so the trial is going on. Trump is on trial, and that's taking all of his time. 
and President Biden is on the trail mm -hmm. right now. How hard is it for President Biden to get any attention, even though he's the only one who's campaigning yeah. right now because all the oxygen is being sucked up down in that courtroom? So hard. Because he, he did something today, right? Biden was in someplace. Wisconsin. And he talked about something, right? Yes, infrastructure. I heard that that happened. <laughs> yes. But I couldn't tell you where or couldn't tell you what it is. You're and like, I, he was out there and somewhere. And I give a damn. Yes. And not everybody does. So how can he get the attention? Well, here's what they, if you're on the campaign, here's what you think about. It's about six states, maybe seven, where the campaign is going to be won and lost. No mm -hmm. pressure, Wisconsin, Georgia, Nevada, sure. Arizona. The, the future of the country is on your backs. Um, but that's where it's really going to be won or lost. Wisconsin, where he was today, is a state that was, what the, the margin of victory was under, less than 1% in the last two presidential elections. Mm -hmm. So the biggest thing for him, if he can get on the front page of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, that's a huge win if you're President Biden. So it doesn't matter if I don't know, as long as the people in Wisconsin know. I mean, I think know. he'd kind of like you to know. You sort of knew. You were almost there. Uh, um, uh, yeah. But it is a unique challenge for them because the criminal trials, you know, we all struggle with this. Or I don't know. I don't want to speak for you. But we, we all struggle with this on how much you should cover these trials, how much we should talk about these trials. There's a lot of things happening in the world, right? I don't really have much of a choice because we There's don't some... actually decide the news. We are a shadow of the news, and in our monologue, generally, we talk about people we're talking about, what people we're talking about today. Yeah. So if you talk about it, we're going to talk about it. So it's really your fault well, if I'm only <laughs> talking about it. Wow, that was a little bit of like a, a, a roundabout. Yeah. Well, well, here's what I was going to say. I sometimes I am tired of talking about it because I'm a human being, yes. right? I'm tired of talking about yes. the Trump trials. But it's important for people to hear and understand and be informed about it because the stakes of the election are that vital. This is a historic moment. There's never been a former president facing criminal, in a criminal trial in a courtroom. We have to talk about it. Uh, hang on right there. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more Jen Psaki, everybody.